Esther got a second hay house, and Esther broke up her old one into pieces for snacks. Peekaboo ate more alfalfa hay so she could fatten up for surgery. She ate more Timothy hay too, but was very picky, so Esther had to hand feed her only the best strands. Peekaboo started jumping up on the couch, which was really cute, but she also started digging and chewing everything up. Oh. Esther made an ugly bunny castle, but Peekaboo still loved it for one whole minute. Then Esther bought her a real bunny castle, which you will see later today. <laughs> Esther had a psychic moment when Peekaboo's long-lost sister Cinnabon found them. But in a sudden turn of events, Peekaboo's long-lost sister actually turned out to be her long-lost brother. Hey everyone, welcome back to Peekaboo's Journey. My name is Esther and today I'm going to share with you some developments that have been happening now that Peekaboo is reaching six months old. I'm sorry. She's going to be six months old on February 10th and we have still been trying to fatten up Peekaboo for her surgery because uh, Dr. Beale said she's too small to get spayed but we weighed her a couple of days ago. She is 2.1 pounds, which is still very small, but Dr. Beale said that she is good to get her surgery very soon. The only thing is Dr. Beale isn't at the original clinic anymore and she is now opening a new clinic and I have an announcement about that coming up. But because Peekaboo is now reaching her six months, we have been slowly giving her fresh veggies and fruits. And I was a bit worried because Holland Lops are known to have very sensitive guts. So you have to be very careful when introducing fresh veggies. And I've also seen some people don't ever give their bunnies fresh fruits and vegetables. But I just wanted to try and see because I've heard there's a lot of health benefits. So because we've been giving Peekaboo lots of dehydrated uh, vegetables and uh, herbs and such, I thought it was okay to just start her with uh, just fresh herbs like parsley and cilantro. <laughs> You're so cute. Huh? She's so cute eating her cilantro. And she was fine. I gave her also a fresh piece of carrot, a fresh piece of apple, and no side effects. Back when we first got her, I did have these uh, flash frozen strawberry bits and I remember giving her one and within like five minutes she went and had a bit of diarrhea. <laughs> so I was like, okay, never again. But she didn't have any diarrhea from these little bits of fresh fruits and vegetables. So we started to add a bit more and we got um, a spring mix with some spinach and lettuce and um, she just loved it. I also got carrot tops. And I found this really amazing brand of romaine lettuce. Apparently romaine lettuce is one of the best leafy greens you can give to a bunny. Oh my god, she just loved it. She didn't care about anything else. She just wanted to finish that piece of romaine. <laughs> So Peekaboo has also been intensifying her digging once again in the corners. So I put down a polar fleece blanket. Polar fleece is supposed to be safe for them. She really loves to dig behind our TV. <laughs>
Take it easy, lady. Oh my lord, oh my lord. And unfortunately, she's been peeing and pooing all over the blanket. So I have been having to wash it every couple of days and just put it back there. I am looking forward to her getting her surgery sooner than later because this type of behavior is just going to get more and more intense. And Dr. Beal said that if we don't do it sooner than later, then all her energy is going to go to her reproductive system and she might actually lose more weight which would be so bad because she's already so tiny so she also started chewing up those pink pee pads that she's been sleeping on every day and i just got fed up and just confiscated them and i decided i should make her room smaller now because after she gets spayed i'm gonna have to make her space a lot smaller anyways and i figured now's a good time to just kind of get her used to it but she got so freaked out by that and suddenly the next morning when i came into the room she started hopping around me and making this grunting sound like mm, mm, mm. And I was freaking out like, oh my God, what's wrong with her? She was also stomping her feet. And I was like, oh my God, she's really mad at me. So I Googled it and lo and behold, it said, if you rearrange your bunny's room, it might get angry and stomp and grunt. She just circled me twice honking and grunting. Huh? She just circled me twice and she was honking, like gr grunting and stuff. Fascinating. Oh, my poor thing, it's gonna be okay. It was so cute. She kept doing it throughout the morning. So finally I called Dr. Beale and she said that actually what it means is that Peekaboo actually really loves me and because of the changes in the environment she's feeling protective and territorial so that's why she's been hopping around me and like grunting and um, she's stomping because she's mad that there's been changes but I was confused because like I'm the one that made the changes but you know Peekaboo's not that bright anyway so uh, she continued to do that and she was sleeping in the hallway instead of sleeping in the room so she was not happy with that room Okay. Anyway, the next day, her bunny castle finally arrived. Uh, I had ordered that bunny castle before, but it just didn't arrive. And so I had to get a refund and reorder it. So it finally arrived like yesterday. I put it together for her and she was not interested at all. <laughs> Come on. Come on already. Yeah. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. Go on. Good girl. What do you think? She just went back into her room. <laughs> so originally I had set it up in the hallway, but it's just too wide for the hallway. So I figured I'd put it in her room. I put it in a few different places in her room, but finally I thought I would put it in the center of her room. And she had like this hay station set up at the end. And I just thought I will take that off so that she can actually have like a tunnel all the way through. And I took the little hay dispenser and put it on top of her hutch where she always loves to eat her alfalfa hay. And I finally got the right arrangement and she seemed to really like it.
and the next morning she did not hop and grunt around me so I think she's very happy with the room now. Thank God. So yeah, that's about it. And back to my announcement. So I didn't want to say anything until it was official, but back in December when we first met Dr. Beale, she had been telling us that she was going to be leaving and starting her own rescue operation. And my boyfriend, Hanno, sorry, my fiance, he had been questioning her because he's just so interested in people who are starting their own business because he is a CPA. So he offered to talk with her and discuss anything if she needed anything and she took him up on it and they just kind of kept talking and talking and talking over the last uh, couple of months and things just kind of unfolded. Her husband started watching Peekaboo's journey and loved it and then we had them over and one thing led to another and we are officially partners and going to open our own vet rescue which will eventually become a clinic and maybe some other components but yeah it's just crazy we just partnered with dr beal the bunny whisperer like i don't know what's happening it's so cool i'm it's not real to me yet but you have to do it or she'll never get used to it uh, I, I, i'm too scared <laughs> She, she looks great. If you could actually like get her on you, yeah. she would sit better on you than she sits on me. Like, she doesn't know who I am. I doubt it. But they also respond to like your warmth too, yeah, right? Like yeah. she's sitting here, she's all warm. Yeah, she's... that's good. Anyway, I've been talking to Dr. Beal and she wants to definitely come on the show and talk about some bunny basics. So I'm going to interview her and have her on the show soon. It's going to be so awesome. So if you guys have any questions for her, uh, please leave it in the comments below. I'm definitely going to put some questions together for her myself. So because we don't have a clinic yet, Dr. Beal might not be able to do the surgery for Peekaboo, but her mentor who taught her how to do the surgery, I think, is uh, possibly going to be available. So hopefully we can arrange for him to do her surgery soon um ba, 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 ba. yeah there's a space in a local mall that we've been kind of looking at and uh, i think i'll be able to go see it tomorrow fingers crossed that will be our space <laughs> I never thought in a million years that I would be an owner of a vet rescue and a vet clinic but it always has been kind of like a dream of mine to help animals. I love videos where they take like stray animals off the streets and then they, they recuperate and they give them healing and find them new homes. Like I get addicted to those videos sometimes and I just watch them like crazy and like I just really want to help those animals. So I actually have another YouTube channel. It's called Quantum Kimmy. Kimmy is my nickname and on that channel I share a lot of my supernatural experiences and I actually interview people who have died and come back and they share their crazy experience that they had on the other side and it's a totally different vibe guys I don't know if you guys would be into it but you can go check it out I'll put a link below but I have actually been channeling energy for maybe two decades and practicing energy healing and I'm hoping that maybe there's a way that I can incorporate my energy healing at the rescue center. And my sister, she's also an energy healer. She does this thing called emotion code where she connects with people or animals. And she's basically able to like take their trapped emotions and like channel them through her and release them. And it's so weird because um, she did a session on Peekaboo and I a couple of days ago and there was some frustration that Peekaboo had towards me apparently that I had caused because I have I guess caused her some trauma from the nail trimming and some other stuff but anyway um, that was released and then the next day she started doing this weird hopping and grunting and possessive thing with me <laughs> yes it could have just been caused by the rearranging of the room but she was stuck to me all day like she would not leave my side and like she would let me kind of like go over her and cuddle her in a way that she never allowed before like i was able to get really close with her and give her lots of cuddles and kisses more than i've ever been able to give her before so maybe it was the healing maybe it was just the rearranging of the room but um, it was just weird timing Speaking of nail trimming guys, we had to give her another nail trimming last week because the last time I did it, I was too afraid and I didn't cut off that much. So of course they grew back so fast. So some of you have suggested that I have Hanno hold her while I clip her nails. And I thought, this is a great idea. Why don't we give it a try? Um, but it was a bad idea. Not really. I don't even like, I don't even know. 
I don't need to hold her. Or, like, okay, so she's kind of facing this way. So you pick her, pick her up like this, and scoop the bottom and hold her feet. Oh, so we're not using the towel on her. No, we're not scooping her with the towel. The towel oh, it's just there. Okay. Okay. okay great. Great. Hold her. Hold her. Support her feet. Support her feet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. okay. You're doing great. Okay. Give me some more paw. Hanno's hands, they're really wide, and when he put his hands under her, her, her paws were just like this, and like I couldn't access her nails that way, um, but I tried. Oh, it's okay. I'm just going to I was just not in the right angle and unfortunately I snipped a bit of her quick so she didn't react to that actual nail she reacted to another nail oh, oh. It's okay. It's okay. so I didn't really notice till afterwards because a little blood was there Half of it. <laughs> I'm serious I don't She's doing great you're both doing great just calm down oh God is there blood no there's blood Okay, let's abandon. This would have been perfect for Maggie to do on film. Yeah. <sighs> you gotta give me a little here. We're not doing her backwards. Why not? Because you cut her and she's bleeding and we don't know what we're doing. I know what I'm doing, it's just... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just don't want to squeeze her. So Hanno and I switched places and I decided that I would hold her and try to do it like I did originally and she did get a lot calmer, I think, and it was just easier for me to finish. Just just leave it for now, honestly. We should just finish it. We shouldn't finish it. <laughs> you can get maybe here like tomorrow. <laughs> She's like calmer with you. So I think moving forward, I'm just gonna have to do it. Did not plan that very well the second time. So hopefully the third time it will work out. We'll probably do that sometime in like March or April. Oh my god, I felt so bad, but I had to quickly finish the job. I googled it and I read some articles and apparently if you clip their nail, it's fine. There was different ways on how to stop the bleeding, but she wasn't bleeding that much. She, there was just like two drops of blood and that's it. Thank god. But apparently if there's a lot of blood, you just um, dip it in some cornstarch or I think in the US they call it a corn flour. But anyway, I didn't have to do that. She stopped bleeding right away. She didn't seem to be in pain. Apparently bunnies recover very quickly from these nail injuries. Apparently even if they like lose the whole nail, like if it gets stuck in a blanket or something, they should be fine pretty quickly. But I remember watching an episode of Sincerely Cinnabon where she said Cinnabon ran quickly across like the, the divider in between uh, two rooms and her nail got caught in it and it ripped off and she screamed this horrible scream apparently and things were bad. I think she had a bruise and stuff. So I don't know what this article is talking about, but it's just good to know that bunnies can heal pretty quickly from a nail trauma. So I felt so much better. The next day I just like was petting her paw and she didn't, you know, pull away. So I don't think she was in any pain at all. So thank God. But oh my God, that was such an ordeal. <laughs> I felt so bad. But yeah, that's all I have to share this week. I think I'm only gonna be able to do one video every two weeks. Uh, Hannah and I are actually engaged and we are getting married in June, early June. And that's just a few months away. And I have been kind of going crazy doing all these wedding preparations. So so yeah, I'll be kind of busy with that. I'm hoping I can have Peekaboo in the ceremony somehow, but we'll see. She'll definitely be there for photos. And I kind of want to get her like a cute little dress, but trying to get her into a dress will probably be very, very difficult. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye.
so scared. You know, there's an eagle flying out there. It's okay, he's not coming for you. Put your head. Come on. Eat it. Oh my god, she can hear an eagle and she's so scared. Huh? She can hear an eagle out there and she's so scared. That's good to know. <laughs> Coming up next. Spinners. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at it.